One of the biggest problems I looked at early in my career was that of little kids in cars. I was working in the medical examiner's office. We'd see the bodies that came in from crashes, and perhaps the most tragic were the little kids and the babies uh, traveling in their mother's arms, unrestrained. Nobody was doing research in this area. We saw a need for a center where we would have colleagues doing good research together that would help to prevent injury. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention agreed with us, and they funded us to start the center. That was 1987, and we haven't stopped since. So we've done a lot of research in the past that described uh, what happens after you've suffered a very severe injury. And what we found was the trauma surgeons do a great job of putting people back together. And yet, in the end, trauma patients and their families needed support for not just the physical consequences, but also the psychological consequences from a traumatic event. Post-traumatic stress, anxiety, depression are all very common consequences um, from a severe injury. So we worked closely with the American Trauma Society and some of the leading trauma centers around the country to build the Trauma Survivors Network, a program that helps injury survivors connect and learn from each other. Just having somebody who knows what they've been through makes a huge difference. We need to get the Trauma Survivors Network running in every trauma center around the country. Panic emergency. Oh, my mommy and Debbie are having a fight. Stop it! Mommy! Okay, don't, don't cry. We're going to send the police. Okay. It's a simple questionnaire, 11 questions that police ask victims when they respond to a call for domestic violence. If the victims answer affirmatively to certain questions, the red flag goes off they're in high danger. It's a relatively simple assessment. The officer can immediately connect the victim to services that could help save their life. We're collecting this data to both evaluate and improve the program so that other jurisdictions that are interested in implementing the program can use it effectively. We're connecting research to real life. We care about keeping kids safe. No one ever wants to interact with a family in the emergency room after their child's been injured. But it's our job to help those injury prevention messages resonate in a way with families before the event. We're gonna learn about safety. The Mobile Safety Center is basically a 40-foot truck where we've designed the inside of it to look like a common home. For instance, we take a normal-looking stove and point out the, the hidden injury hazards to a parent and to young children. Not to freak them out, not to scare them, but to educate them so that they can properly protect their or children. Even a candle. Do you touch that? You never touch any kind of fire. It's well, it's a great tool to teach families how to keep their home safe for their children. It's a model that we started here, and it's being replicated all over the world. The center began very simply with one pioneering epidemiologist by the name of Sue Baker. We've accomplished so much, and I'm just proud of what we've done. We've changed laws, we've encouraged people to find new ways to protect themselves, and we've really changed the culture of safety. You can immediately see the impact of your work on the lives of real people. We're also very committed to training students as part of our core mission. They will be the ones who will know how to solve the injury problems of the future. Trying to prevent fires and burns, trying to find new ways to reduce distracted driving, trying to help older adults not fall in their homes, trying to find ways to make our neighborhoods and streets safer. We're talking about something that's a health problem for almost every family. Injury causes more lost productive years of life than any disease, much more than cancer or heart disease. So it's not just about telling people to be careful, it's about working together to find ways to solve the problem.